Hello everyone, thank you so much for clicking this video today. I'm very happy you came around. So today we're going to be discussing another interesting topic. But before we go into that, let's have a brief word of prayer, please. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for gathering us once again. Please teach us on the subject of relationship. And beyond teaching us, help us to raise our relations to your glory. And raise a family that's going to bring praise to your holy name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Some persons see sameness as a factor that indicates compatibility between you and the individual. But this analysis leads to poor judgment when it comes to deciding who you want to settle with. Compatibility, which is one of the most important factors when you're considering who you spend the rest of your life with, should never be mistaken with sameness. So in today's relationship talk, we're going to be discussing this in more detail. So do make sure to hit that. Hey everyone, welcome to Relationship Talk with Godiva. Today we're going to be going over sameness, not a compatibility factor. Sameness, not a compatibility factor. Do make sure to watch until the end so you could get the most out of this video. So ensure to subscribe to this channel so that we can help you with relationships regularly. Now let's get straight into the video. That, that you are the same with this other individual such that you both have almost little to no differences. It's not a guarantee that you both are compatible. However, your potential spouse should share certain core values or certain core attributes with you. But this does not in any way guarantee that you both are the same. It is important to know that there are certain similarities and differences that suggest that you and your partner are compatible. And there are some certain similarities and differences that also suggest that you and your partner are incompatible. For example, if you and your partner, okay, you are to fulfill your purpose in a different country, far away, that's God is expecting you to stay in that country. And you saw that person you're hoping to get married to, God is expecting him to be in another far away country to fulfill his own purpose. This is a sign that this relationship is incompatible. You and your partner also have purpose that is to be fulfilled in a particular country that you are to start up in a particular country so that you both will have to stay at a particular country and assist as it is God's will, then that could suggest compatibility. Sometimes when someone marries someone who is similar to him or her, that's in everything, over time in the relationship, it might just be boring because it's more like nobody has anything new to offer as your races are similar, as you're just going in the same journey. I'm saying sometimes it's not all the case. Sometimes in those relationships, one, the other, each person might be feeling a kind of bored in the relationship because it's more like you both offer the same thing in the relationship and it's not like anything new from each of you. Anyone can fall into a terrible relationship if he or she fails to understand that that you're same with this person does not does not suggest that, okay, he's your spouse, she's your spouse. Sometimes as well, relationships who, which are compatible are some um, are those relationships that are in complete different aspects, that is, that venture into different areas in life as they have different conversation, new conversation that, that will look interesting to the other person as it's from a different aspect of life. But it's not always also the case. Someone might be wondering what exactly is compatibility? It's simply the ability of you and some other person to live without conflict. It does not in any way suggest there won't be misunderstanding or there are no differences, no. But so that you are living with someone who you find happiness, fulfillment with, and everything will be handled amicably. The differences between you wouldn't be so loud and incompatible so in a compatible relationship both persons complement each other it's not like you're competing against each other you both complement each other having compatibility in view we help you view the relationship you want to commit to in a long time to so look deep within you to know if this relationship is just best for friendship or if it is something you should proceed with into marriage Relationships should be a place or marriages should be a place where each person's uniqueness and differences is appreciated and adds color to the family. 
the only use today are just carried away with body chemistry, which is that sparkle you feel on the inside when you remember the other person. It's important in a relationship, but that also does not in any way suggest compatibility. It is important that beyond that butterflies you feel over you and that way you feel, you know, you know that you have a deeper feeling and you're really compatible with this person because without the compatibility, that butterflies will actually fade away. You will actually fade away because you'll be looking for it and you just notice it's just disappeared. So for you to maintain, maintain those stats pack, make sure it is authentic. Make sure that you and this person is compatible. It's not just about their feeling. Do not hesitate to walk away from a relationship where you notice that there is no compatibility. It's it's good, you know, as a human being, you can see different relationships. You can see someone on a, of an opposite sex and you feel that emotional attachment or you feel that connection. It does not mean compatibility. So don't get carried away with that sparkle or that feeling you're having at that moment. Pay attention to the more authentic stuff. Compatibility can cause a whole lot of problem in the relationship. So that even when you're not married, let me say, even when you're married to that person, being incompatible can really be a terrible stuff in a relationship but sometimes assuming you both some like people who are willing to get married and uh, let me say they are both engineers but they 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 are and they decide to open a firm but one is ready to you know yourselves you know who is okay who is doing best in this or who is not so what decides to go uh, support the other but work together to build the, the, the firm or whatever, such that anybody can go for the recognition. It doesn't really cause a big deal. There's no strife there for anybody wanting to, I want to be seen, I want to be recognized. So that kind of relationship, the sameness can be okay. But when you have a, a relationship as such as well, where two persons are in the same firm and they are developed as well, you notice that when it's time for recognition, they are both striving, they are both competing for who is also going to be recognized as they know that I'm, I've attained this height, this other person feels I've also attained this height, then it becomes a problem. It's necessary you also pay attention to the fact that, that both of you are appearing to be the same. You like to eat the same thing, you like to, in fact, you're in the same career. Does not in any way suggest compatibility. It's important you know that no two persons are exactly the same. And if you might not see much differences, does not mean there are no differences between you both. And that is why you must pay attention to details and not just be carried away with the surface you're seeing. In summary, the compatibility you are having with someone shouldn't be a one that's assessed by body chemistry or that assessed by some things you see just like the one I gave example just like the example I gave we love the same food we like the same color we love to stay in the same country those no, those things are quite shallow however it's good you love the same thing and it's beautiful but that is not criterion for marriage it's important to pay attention to authentic qualities that you both share in common, such as values, of which one of which is this person is genuinely a Christian. Don't say he's not a Christian or she's not a Christian, but she does not stand in my way when it comes to my worship with God or whatever. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived because you will be disappointed in marriage. Okay? So get married to someone who has the fear of God just like you do. That's an example of things you both should have, core values you both should have in, in common. Not we it's we love the same food, we love the same color, we love to worship in the same church, we love to the to have the same we have the same interest as love to travel and all of that those are great but when it comes to marriage you shouldn't be what your basis are like we're the same that's not sameness pay attention to more authentic stuff and relationships that appear to be compatible might end up being incompatible in the long run why those that appear to be incompatible might also end up being compatible on the long run so that is why in your analysis of which relationship is compatible and not compatible don't be so narrowed don't be carried away with as long as we are the same we like the same thing we are compatible no that's not a guarantee and it, it doesn't mean that you both shouldn't like similar things of course you both should like similar things of course it's also good in a home but that is not a criterion where you should decide who you settle your life with that's not a criterion so and that is why you need to decide to trust god because he knows best he knows what qualities is he knows how you were made and he knows how the other person was made so ensure in all your analysis you make sure you don't just run through your analysis on your own and say on your own without 
allowing emotion to come into play in your communication with God. Make sure you discuss with him and let it be that he's the one guiding you in your action, especially when you're getting into a relationship as marriage, because it's a very, it's a critical step in your life. So I trust you found a ton of value from this video. I really hope you find the love and the peace you so desire in your current or future relationship or home. Remember I'm a trained therapist in case you have any relationship concern and you feel you love to reach out. You can always get in touch by filling in the form. The link will be dropped in the description box below and I promise to get in touch within 48 hours or you can book an appointment by visiting www.counselinghome.com. Subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos of relationship talk also check out this other video on four signs of an incompatible relationship and i will see you in the next video